Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, January 27th, and it is time for our daily devotion. Today, I'm going to read Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 through 29. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male nor f- and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. This is uh, one of those... Bible passages. Uh, yesterday I talked about how we can misuse some Bible passages. There are others that I don't think we use enough. Um, this passage to me is one of the most meaningful um, statements that Paul makes. It begins by showing that we are children of God, and I think that's where it has to start. Um, the, the, the Jesus made us heirs to God. Jesus made us brothers and sisters. Jesus made us um, children of God. And that is something I will always be thankful. It's why we are family. It is why we are, um, uh, you know, we are brothers and sisters. It is why we, we can uh, worship together and fellowship together and love each other. Um, Because we are uh, children of the Most High. And that's where it has to begin. Because that is where, uh, that's what makes us all one. Then he gets to the next verse. And for people who were Jewish, uh, there were really just two schools of people. You were either Jewish or you were a Gentile. It didn't matter if you were um, Arabic, like the Jewish people, like Jesus. If you were African, which was probably black. Uh, It didn't matter if you were Roman, so more Mediterranean. Um, I'm not sure if there were really a lot of white people around quite yet, because really they were all the way up north in in northern Europe. And uh, besides a little bit of the foraging of Rome, and they really hadn't, mixed too much at that point. It wasn't for a few more hundred years. But really, you either were Jewish or you were any other ethnicity. And then, yeah, you were either male or female. Um, That statement means we are all one. Uh, It means we can't look at race. We can't look at sex. We can't look at any of uh, and with the with the free or slave, we can't look at where we, how much money we make, uh, how important we consider our jobs. We are all one. We are all equal. It leaves no room for racism. It leaves no room for sexism, and then it leaves no room for saying I am better than you because I make more money or have a more prestigious job. No, we are all one in Christ. We all belong to God. We belong to Christ. And I love that. And like I said, we don't use this enough. Um, This should be something we proclaim from the rafters, that we are one, uh, that no matter who you are, you are welcome as an equal, as in 100% uh, equal part of who we are. It also doesn't say anything about people having to change who they are to fit in. It doesn't. It means, wow, if you're Jew, Jewish, you can act Jewish. If you're Gentile, no matter where you are from around the world, you can act Gentile. Because that's not what's important. If you're a male, hey, cool. If you're a female, awesome. Be that. What is important is that we are Christ's. What is important is that we have faith in the one who has given us grace and forgiveness. And so we need to proclaim that everywhere. This needs to be one of those things that 
is our driving force as a church because our our country our our society and the, the world's culture just doesn't agree with this it shows differences it says you're separate because you look different it's separate because uh of that you have uh, uh you're either male or female it means that if you're you know you make a billion dollars you are more important than the person who uh is really praying that the minimum wage goes up um We are here for everybody. And that is something that the church has to share. And it's not because of us. It's because of Christ. It's because Jesus has claimed us and Jesus has claimed the people who we count as them. And we are one. This is a statement we need to make over and over and over again. I hope you'll join me in that. Let's pray. Holy Lord, thank you for this morning. Thank you that you have called us children. Thank you that you have made us one. Help us to live that out. Help us to live into a world where we actually consider everyone to be equal. Everyone to be your children. Help us to become agents into that. For us to be able to go out and speak to this and work for it and make this world the place you want it to be. In your holy name, Lord. Amen.